Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to build a Raspberry Pi based robot. And what we have here is a robot chassis. This chassis is actually fairly common and you can buy it off your local store. So I, I used this before in one of my Arduino videos and we are going to use this again to build an ultimate Raspberry Pi robot. So the idea here is to have modularity so we can add stuff to it, for example, camera, LiDAR, sensors, all sort of different types so that we can test it out and we can learn during this process as much as we can. So the motors over here, they have actually been glued down to the chassis in this project. But what I will do is I will use the metallic connections that come with it. Uh, let me find those. So I have them somewhere around. Anyways, so I will be using the metallic structure so that we are creating something sturdy that will last for a long time. Then uh, the idea here is to have the Raspberry Pi. So this is the Pi I have. This is Pi 4. And uh, I do have a casing over it. As you can see, I haven't fixed the casing yet, but I will. Um, and then you can see that we have a fan over it and we have some heat sinks to uh, have some better cooling. So this is the idea, we're going to put this on top of this and uh, then we have some batteries. Uh, I'm not sure which ones, which one I will be using. So I have some power banks lying around and I might use one of these or I might just use a 7 volt or 12 volt battery. Then we also have an option of boosting it up. So we have a booster here, we can connect this 5 volt power banks and then we can supply 12 volts or 7 or 9 volts to our motors based on the requirement. Then uh, we have of course the edge bridge that we will be connecting and then uh, I do have a camera for Raspberry Pi. Um, so let's open that up. So this is the Pi cam and uh, at the end I might actually add the Arduino as well. Now, if we want to add a lot of sensors, uh, the better option will be to go with the Arduino. So that is in the back of my head as well. So overall, what we have to do is we have to put all of this together in a way that we can add and remove stuff. But the problem with this is that this is only single layered and it will be very hard to put just the essential parts alone. So for example, if we put this, this, and let's say we go with this battery, now that, that's becoming kind of a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to create another one of these plates. I don't have acrylic right now lying around, so I will be using 3D printing. And uh, we could create a layer on top of this. And in the bottom layer, we could have uh, electronics that we will not be using frequently. And then at the top, we could have the Pi and the camera and then we can have the Arduino as well. So, and then we can use these spacers. So I guess the first step would be to actually clean this up. I will remove all the motors and I will add them with the bolts and nuts. So the idea is to capture an image from the top and if you have the top view, you can take it in a modeling software and then you can use that image to create your profile and then do the 3D printing. So let's start off with removing this and start building and then we will go to the 3D printing part.
installation of the edge bridge. So the next step here is to add our power supply. Now when working with Raspberry Pi, power supply is a bit tricky because your motors they work at 12 volts or 7 or 8 volts and your uh, Raspberry Pi works at 5 volts. And the Pi needs a lot of current, the motors they need current as well. So you need something really powerful and uh, a lot of the times it, it is convenient to have two separate power supplies so for example in our case we have a few uh, of the power banks so we can use this to supply 5 volts to our raspberry pi so it will be consistent and it will require uh, it will give out a lot of current uh, enough for our case and then we have these uh, cheap batteries that run at 3.6 or 3.7 volts so the outputs uh, in series about 7.4 to 7.6 volts something like that so we can use this to power our motors and then we can use our power bank to power our raspberry pi now uh, there's another option we could use um, a booster as well using 5 volts we can boost it to 12 volts and supply it to our motor and we can supply it to the raspberry pi as well but uh, to avoid uh, any complications we are going to start off with two po different power supplies and this this whole level will be for power supplies and once we are done we will cover up this uh, this layer and then on top of that we will add our raspberry pi and arduino or sensors whatever is required so to keep it simple, we are going to use two different power supplies for now and later on we can just uh, replace it with this module or we can uh, find a better solution later on. So we are also going to add a power button so that we can turn on and off our motors. So the power bank will be a direct connection to USB but for the switch for the motors we are going to turn them on and off using this switch. So let's connect this.
now that we have our 3D print part, we can create a new layer on top of this and we can attach our battery pipe on top. Now the battery, the power bank, will go at the bottom here and then at the top we will have our chassis. So let's do that. So now we have to install the camera. Now the camera will go in the front, so we need some sort of enclosure that will accommodate the fixture. Now normally I try to find out uh, any design that will fit the requirement online before I go and start designing. So I found out uh, this design by Parkes on Thingiverse, which actually is pretty good. And uh, I'm going to print this out and see if this will work out for us. Okay, so now that we have all the parts printed, we can assemble. So one of the things that I added was the extension here. Now this is because I want to add a lens. Now this is a very common lens. Uh, usually you can add it on to your mobile phone. So I wanted to add this to the pie because I wanted a wider field of view. And so this is the extension and it just snaps on and that's it. So this is the extra part I had to print and uh, so now we can just assemble it. Actually it's very simple to assemble. Everything just snaps on. It's a fairly good design. Let me just push that in. There you go. And then we will add this. And there you go. So now we have our camera extension that we can attach to our robot. Now one other thing I did was I painted the red chassis to white and I painted also the wheels uh, from yellow. I don't like the yellow color. So I painted it to be orangish but it turned out to be a little reddish. But uh, anyways, it's better than yellow. So I'm going to stick this here now and we will add our camera right about here. We will close this up and then we are going to uh, wire it as well.
here we have our complete robot we have installed the camera the raspberry pi the power bank and the motors now if you want to see from the back there you go we have the edge bridge and on the second layer we have our power bank and our power supply for the motors we also have a switch to turn it on and off and then we have our final layer in which we have our raspberry pi and our camera now the camera can be tilted uh, as it required now i think this is pretty much enough for one video so in the next video we are going to program this and we will run it with a keyboard or with a ps4 controller we will try to run the camera take some photos and try different things let's let's see where it takes us so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and i will see you in the next video